planting annual forages? Annual forages are available for the summer and winter season and can be planted for livestock or wildlife. Let's take a look at some of the things you'll need to know to have a successful stand. The three main components of a successful stand are soil, seeds, and equipment. Today we'll discuss what you need to address when planting and maintaining annual forages regarding these aspects. Soil is one of the most important aspects of planting, as it can truly make or break your stand. Any planting plan should begin with a soil test. It is best to have a soil test completed at least six months before planting, in case lime needs to be added to adjust the pH of the soil. Lime can take anywhere from three to six months to begin raising soil pH levels and should be incorporated prior to planting. Lime and fertilization rates will depend on the species being planted and the desired growth. Therefore, a soil test is critical to their application. Soil testing should be repeated annually. Although lime is not needed on an annual basis, fertilizer likely will be. These precise application rates can help save you money by reducing the chance of over-applying. Next, let's discuss the do's and don'ts of seed selection. Seed quality and quantity are critical components of a successful stand. Make sure that you are purchasing species and varieties that are appropriate for the growing conditions of your area. Check with your local extension office for recommendations on what to plant based on the animal that will be grazing the plot and the time of year. Planting rates are also very important. If planting rates are too low, the stand will have heavy weed competition. However, a high planting rate can result in lower yields due to competition for resources. Once careful selection of seed and planting rate are chosen, make sure planting is done at the optimal time of year when conditions are right for the varieties you have selected. Planting can be daunting as there are a multitude of options when it comes to equipment and how it can be done. There is no perfect way to plant. What it truly comes down to is the plans you have for the stand you are growing. Cost can be a big factor, especially if planting is not for commercial production of livestock, which will produce a return on the investment. Do some research on planting methods appropriate for the growing conditions you will be facing and utilize multi-use equipment where possible to reduce cost. Consider the maintenance of the equipment in order to reduce long-term costs and improve the longevity of the piece. If you have questions regarding equipment and planting methods, contact your local extension agent for advice specific to your plot. Many people consider planting to be a one-day affair. However, for a truly successful stand, year-round efforts need to be made. Soil conditions and weed pressure are two of the main reasons why year-round planting is crucial. As we discussed previously, early soil testing is important to adjust the soil pH and secure fertilizer sources before planting. Weed pressure should be monitored year-round in order for maximum control during the growing season. Reducing weed growth during the growing season and the off-season will reduce competition with desirable species while also reducing the amount of weed seeds in the soil, making future weed control much easier. Let's take a look at a yearly calendar of activities that should be done to ensure a successful annual forage stand. Many people consider annual forages in the cool season when pasture grass is dormant. However, there are annual forages we can plant for the warm season as well. If you are planting annual forages for wildlife, warm season annuals will be important to research as it is likely grasses such as Bahia or Bermuda will not be wanted in the stand. During the first four months of the year is when we will be utilizing the cool season forages that were planted the fall prior. Remember to scout for weeds and control if necessary to reduce competition. This is a good time to soil test if you intend to plant warm season annuals or if lime may be needed to adjust the soil pH. From May until August, we will be utilizing warm season annuals or warm season perennials. Fertilization of these warm season plants should occur if they are being grazed by livestock or wildlife. Don't forget to continue to scout for weeds and control as necessary. By August, you should have your cool season forage planting plan established, including what varieties you will plant, fertilizer needs, and begin securing the source you will purchase products from as some varieties can be in high demand come planting time. This is a great time to perform any equipment maintenance that may need to be done prior to planting. In the final four months of the year, you will be prepping the seedbed for planting, whether that be with tillage or no tilling. 
A soil test can be completed to ensure proper fertilization upon planting. Most cool season forages will be planted during the months of October or November, but this could differ in your region, so make sure you are planning ahead. Grazing and utilization of the forages can begin in late November or December. During the entire year, notes should be made regarding weed pressure, stand success, and issues that may need to be addressed prior to replanting, such as low spots in the field that hold water, nutrient runoff, or something else that may have affected stand success. You will see that there are a multitude of options when it comes to planting annual forages. There are a number of varieties, including grasses and legumes, the opportunity to mix species in the same stand, and a variety of ways to plant. Establishing annual forages may look different for each planter, however, the three key components remain the same. Soil, seeds, and equipment. Have questions regarding establishing annual forages? You are welcome to contact me, Alicia Halberter, at the UF IFAS Extension Baker County office, or reach out to your local extension agent for information specific to your region. Thank you.